Hello. Oh, we're already recording. <laughs> Hello. Um, my name is Russell and this is my wife, Kaylin. We're the Wrights and we wanted to talk to you about why we've decided to get a more ride RV independent suspension system. My wife is kind of the expert and she's more of the mechanical one around the house. We are full-time RVers and we have a Highland Ridge Silver Star FB 376 FBH. 376 FBH and she can explain to you later exactly what those numbers mean. Which we talked to guys at the factory that learned something on that one. <laughs> so we actually went to the full-time Highland Ridge RV rally. I learned a ton. My wife learned a ton. We, uh, anybody from the rally that we were hanging out with, thanks a lot. We had such a great time. We got to meet everyone. We went to a factory tour for Highland Ridge. And one of the favorite things we did, that I enjoyed that we did was the Moor Ride factory tour. Mm -hmm. So this video is about why we've decided to get a Moor Ride independent suspension system. And we're gonna just keep it really basic. If you're not familiar with the Moor Ride, watch the other videos below. Watch the uh, factory tour, which we've given you the full length and also some highlights. So you'll enjoy that because it really is a solid uh, system and really high end products, serious innovation happening with those guys. And since Kaylin's here and she's uh, really understanding how our suspension system works, she, we're gonna talk a little bit about what we have now, what you're thinking about it, our conversations, kind of what we've just had about why we would want this type of a system so you know explain however you want to our audience is diverse okay. so well what made us start first looking at suspension was right away before we even picked it up we had the dealership install a reese goose box so that we wouldn't have to give up the bed of our truck to the fifth wheel plate mm -hmm. um, however we've always rode a little high nose high which puts um, an unequal distribution of weight on our rear axle. Yeah, and we can even show you that in another video. Maybe we'll go over some of these things so you kind of see what we're looking at. So while we were at the Highland Ridge Open Range Rally, and for you that don't know that, a Silver Star is a private label open range for a specific dealership in the state of Texas. So even though we're running a Silver Star, it is an open range, it's just a private label. And what's so funny is some people at the rally did not recognize it. One guy came up and said, it's, that's not an open range. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? Yeah. I can't remember who that was, but that was really funny. But it does say highlandridge.com <clears throat> on the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we, at, at the rally, Lippert was there. Um, uh, More Ride was there. Um, of course, Highland Ridge was there. Uh, if you, regardless of what you own, I highly recommend that you find out where your next owner's rally is and attend. There was so many things that we got out of it um, that we were just past warranty because March, April was the end of our one year warranty for Highland Ridge. Yeah. But, you know, Lippert was there and they did some adjustments to our jacks and, and um, I didn't Super know, helpful. I didn't know we had a Dexter suspension system. So I was asking the Lippert gentlemen about my suspension and what I should do to try to equalize this out. Could I put a lift on it? What could I do? And he said, well, we can't touch it because that's a Dexter axle, which from what I've heard in the industry, a Dexter is a very good axle. So it's, we're not trying to get rid of the Dexter axle because we feel like it's an inferior axle. However, it is an axle. An independent um, suspension system doesn't have an axle. And when the Moride guy told me that, I was kind of surprised because I was like, no axle. Yeah, you don't have that bar going across right. for your tires anymore. Every, it's, it's a steel plate that goes across and you'll see the video. There's in the video, we have the gentleman at the factory explaining the entire Moride system to us. It has a disc yeah. brake system in it. So we will no longer have the drum system that comes with the Dexter. We will no longer have that axle that goes across the center. Um, so when I, again, when I was talking to the Lipper gentleman, he's like, well, you could upgrade to an 8,000 pound leaf spring for my 7,000 pound leaf spring, because that would give it some lift. You know, like a one ton truck sits higher than a three quarter ton truck because it's stiffer. Um, and then he's like, I, you, we, I have two attachments for my axle and I could drop it down to the lower 
bolt setting uh, were my options. Those are all possibilities. But if you go to a, a stiffer, what you need on your trailer is you need ride. So when you go over a bump, the more ride you have, the smoother the frame, what you've got inside, your dishes, your refrigerator, everything is getting bounced around. If you don't have any ride because your springs have pushed down too much because... Flattened. Well, our back axle is overweighted because we're riding nose high. So right. even, you know, it, we're, we have more riding on our rear tires. Our tires are going to ride, are going to wear out faster. So I'm going to do two, two things that mm -hmm. we've talked about doing, and that is, I keep looking back because the axle's we right might, behind we me. We might have to show them. <laughs> um, is that if we go to the more ride, they'll be able to lift the trailer to match the height of the truck. Now we got measured at the rally too. That was yeah. awesome. The rally, they weighed us. They weighed in every individual axle of the truck, as well as every individual side to side, tire to tire axle of yes. the trailer. So we knew that as most RVs were riding heavy on the opposing door side and we're riding heavy on the back axle, which we expected. Mm -hmm. So that being said, if we can get level, we may always ride heavy on the left side because that's where the sofa's at, that's where the washer and dryer's at, that's where we keep our tools on that side. So we may always ride a little heavy on the driver's side or the opposing door side, yep. but if as long as we ride flat, we'll be able to balance the front to back um, axles. So that's one reason. The other thing is that independent suspension means just that each tire of the four tires on your rig run independently. So if you go into a pothole, only that tire goes into a pothole. This tire doesn't, this tire doesn't, and this one back yeah, here exactly. doesn't until this one's up out of it and then the next, and it ride, they ride independent of each other. So it's not shaking the whole rig. There's always going to be three tires that are on a level surface while that other one will go down, will drop down and come back up, but it's still riding low. Exactly. And it's gonna cause, cause less shaking, which should make our frame last longer, should make our appliances and cabinets last longer. So because we intend to travel extensively through our RVing, and just so you know, we've been full-time now for 65 weeks. So it's not yep. like we're just beginning. However, we didn't do a lot of moving last year. We spent an extended period of time in Colorado, we spent a yep. few small extended periods of time when we started out in Texas and then in South Dakota and Wyoming. So we're just, this year has been where we've moved. And, and so the nose up and the rear axle and the tires and stuff like that, how they're wearing, we've, we noticed that if we intend to keep this rig for the next four or five years at least, even though the more right independent suspension is significantly more expensive than just boosting up our dexter axles maybe putting like the lippert guy suggested putting the eight thousand pound spring on there from the seven thousand pound spring mm -hmm. and um or just adding an extra leaf spring mm -hmm. and moving them down which would get us level um that's still not going to give us the independent suspension it's not going to give us the disc brakes nope. um and so spend I don't know, I didn't even get a price, but say say just in reality, 30. probably spent $2,500 to $3,500 yeah. upgrading our Dexter suspension, and we still don't get the disc brakes, or just go ahead and spend the $6,000, $7,000 yeah. for, for an package. equal seven, 8,000 pound. Now, when you go to the 9,000 pound more ride suspension, significantly more expensive, significantly more weight. Greater than 10 grand, I think, for that yeah. package, but I think it depends, so don't, Check with the more ride guys; they're amazing. Yeah. Uh, check on the site, and we'll we'll have more information below uh, about how to do that. And Kaylin will help me put together the grid on how to do that. So, yeah, so, that, so, those so are after, hefty yeah. So go after going back and forth, we've we've decided that um, the independent suspension makes sense for us. If we were weekend warriors, only taking this thing out or going to seasonal like the seasonal campground that we're ha we happen to be in in. Um, Byron Center, Michigan today, um, probably wouldn't do the upgrade. Um, I don't think it's necessary, probably, but because we're gonna be, we're gonna be doing, you know, I-95, we just passed through, you know, Chicago and 
everybody knows the yep. Indiana Tollway <laughs> and just how terrible it is. Not great. Uh, you know, there's enough really bad roads in the future ahead for us that we think um, upgrading to a better suspension system will cause our coach to last longer. Yeah, and also I don't want to downsell for the more red folks the weekend warrior uh, scenario because there might be a scenario in which if you just like, you know, for, for example, one of the gentlemen who was taking us through the factory tour, was it Gary was his name or do you remember his name? Uh, but anyway, shout out to you guys. You were awesome. Our tour guide, he said that there have been just, you know times where people left their coffee cup out on the counter. Oh, yeah. And then when you get to your destination, nothing, it hasn't even moved. <laughs> like, so you might be retired or there might be, oh, yeah. you know, if you just want. Like, if you're going to Alaska, oh, really? definitely. Get Why? It. Why do you say that? Oh, well, there's a lot of potholes. There's a lot oh, of, right. there's a lot of um, those freeze burn. Well, the road will just drop out at the center yeah. in the middle. Oh, right. And gotcha. so remember, um, Jerry, he is not a full timer. Uh, from the rally um, from the rally yeah. but he has done some fantasy tours and they went to um, uh, to yeah. alaska and he has the more right independent suspension on his open range and he says his his wife left wasn't which i think she was the one that left her coffee cup or something yeah, uh, and they came, they got to their campground and opened it up and her coffee cup was still sitting on the center island I, and, and this this is kind of weird but we have a really really expensive tv because of what i do for a living a long story and it's rattling around a little bit more than I would like. So there's other things like that that I have, not just the cabinets, not just, a, I'm, I'm gonna be glad that our television set, which we use for quite different things, is not gonna be hammered all around the place. So there's things like that. That's nice to have, depending upon, you know, not everybody's gonna put that kind of money or outlay, but I'm looking forward to not rattling apart 